Hey, brothers and sisters. Uh, I'm not going to be out here doing as many videos as I as I will, but not as much, because my time to come off the ministry is running is is nearing sooner than I expected, according to what the Father had told me. Now, I feel it in my spirit, and I feel like the enemy knows, because the demonic activity in my house has picked up big time. My family is um, under serious attack, and I'm asking you, my brothers and sisters in Christ, if you could please pray for them. I've been praying over them. Um, these demons, they're trying, they're writing curses all over my kids, all over my family members. When demons try to curse you, they will literally draw curses all over your body. I have to go into greater detail in another video about that for you. So, the Bible talks about curses, how the enemy will try to curse you. They will actually try to curse you, and they will draw curses on you. You have to have spiritual eyes to see it, because I can see when the enemy draws curses on a victim. I asked the Father in my prayer closet as to why these attacks are picking up the way that they are. I was told by the Father that um, it's because we're in the last days and the enemy is attacking the righteous profusely, I mean heavily. I'm dealing with this brother in Christ. Uh, he's a prophet and he's from Nigeria. And I'm ministering to him as best as I can because he's undergoing these attacks right now as we speak. According to what he told me, he sees demonic manifestations in his house. He sees it uh, when he's laying down at night trying to sleep. He's a prophet of the Lord, and he's a very strong brother in Christ, and the enemy knows this, and Father told me that the enemy's time is running very short, the enemy knows that, and the enemy's stepping up his game. Now look, ladies and gentlemen, if this is happening to you, give me an example. I've seen demons in my house, I've seen angels in my house, angels of light. Um, demons are trying to attack my family, trying to discourage them. Uh, I've seen things move right with my own two eyes, banging sounds. I've done spiritual cleansing on my house. I do it every day. But the Lord told me that the spiritual realms are breaking down because we're in the last days and the enemy does not want to see any more souls make it to heaven. The Lord says in the Bible, um, if you hear a knock on your door three times, that's Jesus knocking and asking you to open. The enemy counterfeits everything that the Father does. There's a certain pattern as to where that the Father will knock. It is stern, but it's a gentle knock. It is not loud banging sounds. If you got a knock on your door and it's loud banging sounds, you will know that there's something off about that knock. Do not open the door. And I mean do not open the door because you will actually get three knocks on your door. Whether it's your house door, your bathroom door, whatever. You will get those three knocks. Uh, so I had three knocks on my front door that were very gentle. The Lord said that I found the keys to heaven. It's in the scriptures. He said I was made righteous before his eyes. Not made righteous by my own strength. We're not made righteous by man. We made righteous by the Lord. I've been tested a lot. I've done a video testimony before where my son was dying. And I told my father that if it's meant for him, that I have to give my son up to prove myself to the father, then, then I will. Because I know that my son will be with the father. I told you about how my son was... Um, taken to hell as a form of correction because he was becoming a fault finder. He's my 11 year old son. The Lord saved him right before my eyes and he made it. 
I was willing to give my son up. He's 11. Abraham was willing to give his son up. His son was age 12. Our sons are only about only about a year apart. Um, ladies and gentlemen, the attacks are picking up. I'm very strong in the Lord. Praise Jesus for that. I'm not scared of demons, and they know it. So they target those that they perceive easily as a target. They know, they think, that if they target my family, I'm going to curse God. I will never curse my father. Ever. These are the last days, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm asking if you could reach down into your soul and please pray for them. Pray for any brothers and sisters in Christ that are going through these attacks because it's not just my household. There's other brothers and sisters that are righteous before the Most High and they're going through the same attacks heavily. Heavily, ladies and gentlemen. It's not just the false prophets out here that the Lord, that Satan is using against the righteous. He's using his actual demons. I mean, yes, there's demons of false prophecy. He's using his actual demons through these false prophets, through sin, period. But I'm going to stand firm because I, I was founded on a rock, okay? I'm going to stand bold and I rebuke Satan in Jesus Christ's mighty name. And I pray over you, brothers and sisters that are going through this. I pray over my household. I cover us with the blood of the Lamb. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over us. Okay? So if you're going through this and you're experiencing demonic attacks, don't be afraid of these demons. They're nothing. The one that has the real power here is Jesus Christ. Okay? I'm here to encourage you, to tell you to stand bold in the face of the enemy. And do not be afraid. Don't be afraid of what they can do to you. The one that you need to be afraid of is the one that could destroy your soul, your mind, your body, your heart, and your spirit in hell. Stand bold for the cross. Stand bold, ladies and gentlemen. Look, if you're going through these attacks, just message me, you know. <laughs> message me. I have a Facebook link, you know, on my, on my channel. It goes right to my Facebook page. If you feel like you want to message me there rather than YouTube, you can send me a private message on Facebook. You can even send me a private message on YouTube. Don't be afraid, okay? Because if you trust Jesus Christ and you have both faith and you believe in Him totally and you don't have any fear for the enemy, the Lord will deliver you. you God prove your worth. And if you... Bible says, don't let the enemy triumph over you, you know, rebuke Satan and resist him and the devil will flee, okay? Don't let the enemy triumph over you, don't be afraid of the enemy, ladies and gentlemen. Believe me when I tell you, they are not that powerful. Jesus Christ is the one that got all the power. I'm just telling you because I get a lot of emails from brothers and sisters saying they're going through this, they're going through that. They don't know what to do. Okay? Rely on the Lord for understanding and strength and, gui and strength and guidance. Speaking in tongues is a very powerful weapon against demons. I'm going to do a video and I'm going to talk to you about demon warfare. I'm sorry, spiritual warfare. Forgive me, Lord Jesus Christ. I'm going to talk to you in great detail. It's the last days, ladies and gentlemen. And they're picking up their attacks. And I prophesy to you that those attacks are going to increase a lot among the righteous very heavily don't be afraid just stand strong and stand bold because remember the Lord is a tower that the righteous can run to when you're in trouble and the Lord told Peter in the Bible that he was going to start a church with Peter and that church is going to be founded on a rock that's the righteous the righteous is founded on a rock okay so stand bold and don't be discouraged, don't be afraid. I love you all, I pray for you all in these last days.